So today we are going to work with Appium for Mac operating system. So as we worked in our previous section for Appium for Windows, we are going to work with Appium for Mac operating system. And again, as in our previous video, we installed the Appium uh, inspector, Appium client, and it is pretty much available by just going through this Appium using your spotlight and it's going to bring the Appium for you. And for this particular demonstration, we are going to make use of our Xamarin application. Again, Xamarin application is something which is available already in our Exit Automation channel. So you can directly head over to our github.com slash Exit Automation. And here you can go to the repositories and search for something called as Xamarin.ui test. So this is the uh, application which I developed for our Xamarin.ui test course, which is available in Udemy as well, which is a mobile application writing test for both Windows and Mac operating system uh, with one code base. So this is kind of popular and we were using this particular uh, application. Well, this is the same application. You can just clone it and you can have it in your machine. I have already cloned it and it is available in my machine. So if I go over here to my folder location, uh, we have the Xamarin.ui test already which is this one and this is the application uh, folder location so I have already built the application it is available in my iOS folder uh, over here so you can just see that iPhone simulator debug uh, device builds and since we are working with the 11.1 uh, version so I'm gonna go over here so this is the IPA of the uh, Xamarin application. So we're gonna work with this particular application this time. So this is the same application, even if you download, if you clone this particular build, if you try to build the solution, you will get this particular solution. So you can build the solution even in Mac operating system. So you can get it over here, right? So as a prerequisite, as I said before, you need to have Visual Studio for Mac installed in your Mac operating system. So please go ahead and uh, install that. And you can see that I already have Visual Studio uh, for Mac installed in my machine right so as that said so these are the different kinds of stuffs for the xamarin.ui test once you build it as i said you have that particular ipa location i'm just going to copy paste that so basically as i said you can just go over here to the bin folder uh debug oops iphone simulator debug device builds and this one so i'm going to get this particular location so i'm just going to right click and I'm going to open in the new item to window here. So if I just copy paste this, uh, you get this particular build. So I can just copy uh, this particular path. And since I've already opened the Appium server, just going to hit this ask me later because we have already updated it, but it's still showing that for us. So I'm going to just hit this start server. And this time we are not really going to make use of the Chrome driver as we did for Ionic application. We're just going to directly use the uh, application here. So uh, again, for the iOS operating system, the, the capabilities are completely different. You can see here, let me expand this. The platform name is iOS and the automation name is XUI test. So if you remember in our previous section and during the introduction, we we're telling that for the iOS operating system, the UI automator has been replaced to XUI test because XUI test is the framework which is currently being used by the Apple for developing the uh, applications within Mac operating system. So we should use this XUI test uh, API and you should give the uh, device name as well. So I'm going to give the device name as iPhone X. So whatever device that you have within your Mac operating system, you can give that particular device name. And for the app, I'm just going to give the path which I just copied, right? So this is the whole capability that we should give while working with the native application. So let me start this session because this is pretty much it. So I'm just going to hit that. And you can see that it is automatically going to launch the uh, simulator for us. So I'm just going to put it over here. And let's put the Appium server there. And uh, let's see what's really happening here in the console. So you can see that 
it is uh, waiting for the simulator to run so once it is available you can see that it is currently installing the Xamarin app and also it is installing the web driver agent if you remember if you remember in a previous section we we're talking about the uh, web driver agent one of the uh, library which is maintained by Facebook so that's exactly it is so we have this particular web driver agent as well uh, installed and the application has been launched and you can see that once the application is launched the magic begins here that you can see that the same application is coming here within the Appium inspector so this is nothing but the Appium inspector in our previous versions of Appium and this is exactly it is uh, but it is something just recognizing everything using the XUI test element. Uh, so it's recognizing everything with XUI element uh, type window. And you can see different kinds of uh, options coming in here. So you can see that I can see the browse here. And within this uh, browse, we have this add element. So if I select this, you can see it's automatically highlighting there, which is really, really cool. And you can also see other kinds of elements coming in here. So if I click this, you can see that it is selecting the particular element. And another important thing is if I select this particular add item button, it is showing you all the attribute and values. So it is a type of uh, button and it has the name and label. It is enabled, visible, and you can also see its XPath is available. So every single thing which we require to perform the operation is available within the Appium Inspector itself. And another cool thing, which I really, really like is, you can also perform the operations straight away. For instance, if I want to perform a tap, if I do this, you can see that it is performing a tap there, and also in the real device, which is the emulator. And also, if I want to do a send keys, I can click that uh, over here. So it seems like the item is not interacting oops so it is currently waiting for uh, the application to be interacted uh, right I don't know what happened yeah so yeah for some reason it says that the interactions are not available for this element but of course the interactions are there uh, yeah I can see that the interactions is there but let's see what if I select the description or maybe another text field but actually you can write the code for this to be interacted for some reason I don't know it is not interacting but it is interactable without any problem and uh, if you want to hit the save button maybe uh, yeah tap it yeah it is trying to save I don't know for some reason just that particular element is not working but it is interactable as well so these are the cool things that you can do from here and you can also do a recording if you want. That's another important and cool thing that I really like it. So let's say if I'm doing a start recording uh, and I'm gonna perform some operation like add item, I'm just gonna uh, tap it. So you can see that it's gonna generate the code for you as well here, which is really, really cool. And I don't know what happened. Uh, the application is not coming. Yep, and delete the action and let's start recording this time so add item i'm just going to tap so you can see that that particular code is going to generate which is really cool and then i'm going to click this uh for some reason it's not generating and also you can see that uh it is showing me all the languages which it can generate pretty much like catalan studio or visual studio code ui which generates the codes for you this is exactly it is. So it is showing you all the languages as well. And you can also perform the operation of clicking the save item if you want to. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to tap it. So you can see that that particular uh, code is being recorded. So you can see this mobile element this time. It's not iWeb element or something like that that we were doing in our previous video of the previous section. So all these things are kind of being recorded as well, which is really cool. Uh, and I really like the matter of fact that it is also showing a lot of things like uh, an option like show hide boilerplate code. So if I click this, so you can see that it is going to show you the complete code instead of 
just the operation so i kind of like these operations which is available which were not there before and you can also search for an element using some of the locator that you feel like that's the locator that you're looking for is it correct or not you can do that as well and also uh, you know you can tap by coordinate which is another cool thing so these are the different kinds of options that you can perform using Appium for Mac operating system. In our next video, we'll start trying to work with our existing code that we were creating and working with. And I'm going to start using that within our Mac operating systems, Visual Studio for Mac.